Even as government is looking to negotiate with new oil and gas investors from the latter part of next year, questions are surfacing over Guyana's lack of sound tax avoidance legislation. Ahead of Guyana's first official barrel of oil in 2020, oil and gas advisor at the Energy Department, Matthew Wilkes, gave all assurances that the matter will be looked into with the aim of reviewing legislation. In short, yes, because if you're looking to um, both increase and also protect state revenues going forward in, in new licenses, not only do you have to look at the um, modified or renewed and replaced PSC, you also have to look at the surrounding legislation, and that includes fiscal legislation and tax schemes. So that will be will be an area of focus. The department's head, Dr. Mark Bino, at a press conference earlier this week, spoke of the need to have a strong legislative framework to guide the sector, which follows oil fines and billions of barrels by U.S. oil giant ExxonMobil and Canada-based company Echo Atlantic. The department is reviewing the current legal and regulatory framework for the petroleum sector, inclusive of the 1986 Petroleum Act, to shape proposals for revision and possible replacement of some existing legislation. Apart from tax avoidance schemes, the department indicates that it will also have to consider a depletion policy to guide how the country deals with the reduction of oil over time, but this can only be done after first oil. Shemuel Fanfare, The Evening News, 